Well, hello, my beautiful Cancers. <clears throat> I hope you're doing amazing. So, hello, <laughs> if you're new. And uh, welcome back, if you've been here before. This is your reading for October. I don't know if I said that already. I can't remember that quickly. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I started a new series, guys, for viewer requests. Um, you can put your request at the bottom of that video, which you can find if you search the video section. It'll be before the monthlies. Also, at the end of this video, there will be a link to that. Please remember to like if you receive a message from me that'll help you for October. Share if you know someone who could benefit from any of the messages in this reading. And subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Especially the mid-months, which is next. Okay? So, Spirit, Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, Universal Energy, what do you have for Cancer? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of for the month of October? Only allowing truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this space. Mmm. Cancer, there's a little talk about you coming to grips with your true nature, okay? Um, this is a time to assess some risks that you may have been taking, okay? In a relationship, where it's going. You know, the nature of this relationship, is it something that flows with you, right? It's like it's time for you to accept something about this relationship. Instead of trying to change it or view it in a different way or change your perspective. Some of you have been tiptoeing through this relationship and you want to like mm, express your true self, who you are. Interesting. So let's see what we have. Let's see what these cards are trying to tell me here in this spread for you, Cancer. Cancer, you're holding on to a lot or you either have a lot of responsibilities going on, okay? Um, a lot of things going on. I feel like you're keeping yourself busy to distract yourself from what's going on. Right? It may feel like you're really overwhelmed and you're missing some things because you're trying to stay afloat. Especially when it comes to love. Someone has put in a lot of energy into a relationship. And they're still not getting... They're still not getting um, the attention that you need. It's almost like the other person is getting bored. Or you feel like they're bored because they're not paying you any attention. And I feel like you're communicating that. Right? I feel like you're trying to find balance now by saying what you need to say after you've held on to this and not said anything. It's almost like you chose to block some of this out. For some of you, there could have been an incident where you needed them to stand up for you or say something to you to make you feel like the work you've put into this meant something and I feel like they try it almost feels like they did enough just to make you happy you may also just want attention from this person right there's a decision that needs to be made about your future and how you're going to move forward 
how you're going to balance moving forward because you've got a lot you've got a lot of responsibility in this connection and it's mostly from you holding on or protecting it It's time for you to look at what you're investing in. What do you what is going to come out of this? Are you going to be happy is the question that I see here. I see that there is a kind of like a thin layer of happiness, but it's not true happiness. But I feel like you're trying to hold on to this most definitely. It is a lot of responsibility, okay? Someone that you're dealing with, especially Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, seems to be in their head or thinking about something else. They may be ignoring you as well. Not putting in the time and effort like they need to. Focus on their own happiness. But I feel like there's going to be some movement here, some change. And you have to make a decision whether or not to rekindle this after they have went away. You know, like, is it worth your time? Is it worth your energy to put the effort in? But I feel like they make you happy. This could also be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of you, this is a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you have um, heaviness with cancer. You've definitely tried to hold on to them the best way that you can. I feel like you had to give a lot of yourself in that relationship. Yeah, you're not, you weren't getting a lot back. But you still were holding on to someone else, probably a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person wants you to invest some time. If you invest the time with this person, you're going to be happy or content in that relationship. I feel like with this Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, you're going to always have to... I don't know why this feels like ups and downs. It feels like... They go away, you feel burdened, you're doing a lot of the work, then you get something out of it, but then it happens again, it feels like to me. You have to make a decision on what is best for you and what exactly it is that you're holding on. See, like weighing the risks that you're taking and are you getting out of it what you need. So you have a chance here with the death card for an opportunity to rebirth yourself as something new and invest in something that's actually going to take you the long route you need to be nurtured and I feel like you're not getting it here in this relationship at the top so you definitely have a decision to make about your future cancer yeah you're keeping yourself trapped right you're definitely not being fulfilled emotionally the way that you need to be. And I feel like when this person ignores you or pushes you to the side or doesn't pay attention to you the way that you need or give you that investment back, you're sad and you don't like that, but you still see the opportunity for something here. And that's why you keep investing, I see here. So it's really about questioning what you're investing into, okay? Also, you're keeping yourself trapped. Your own thoughts are maintaining this relationship. If you were to stop putting action into this, it will fall apart. bottom of the deck they told me to look at it sun card this is all about epiphanies right epiphanies what are you being your own worst enemy in how are you being your own worst enemy and how can you find happiness 
that's the epiphany here is that you deserve happiness you want happiness you can have it I feel like it's going to take work and dedication and I feel like you can do it it's like there needs to be movement towards your happiness I'm surprised I don't see the chariot here It's like if you're going to take your time to work on something and be burdened, you might as well be investing in something that nurtures you, right? Not just something you just want, because I see you just want that person or whoever this is. It's not necessarily, not necessarily the best situation for you. You might have a lot of things going on in your life that are heavy as well, Cancer, and um, you're not really paying attention to it. You're trying to just live contently in what it is, but you need to invest in um, starting over and nurturing yourself, okay? So, Ten of Wands, yeah. Some of you may have walked away from a relationship or some sort of commitment, um, and now you're burdening yourself with something else like someone else for some of you um, someone left someone who wanted a commitment or was in a commitment they weren't really or they didn't feel emotionally fulfilled there and they went towards something or someone else sorry I'm marinating some meat okay <laughs> they went towards someone else that had too many burdens this person feel like they had a lot of stuff going on whoever this person is a lot of things going on and I feel like you tried to ignore them but not in a way like being foolish ignoring ignoring them in a way where you felt like it would kind of clear itself out and you were waiting for that change or you were waiting for it to clear itself out so now that things are <laughs> getting worse it feels like um, you have to make a call it's like spirit is telling you you need to take a make a call with the judgment and make a choice the fool card in reverse just means that you've been taking the wrong risks or making foolish moves it could be because you just wanted some sort of freedom after this relationship yeah you were just trying to figure out how to get balance um, but you, it was like you kind of weren't in a healthy way to do it so this is kind of what transpired okay so you're gonna have to learn how to you're gonna have to learn how to let this go Okay, it's just bringing more confusion. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. I'm sorry, Lord. Uh, <laughs> a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or uh, yeah, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, that's coming in with some bad news. Or you could be getting bad news about your life. You're independent, or not being able to support yourself because of all this responsibility that you're picking up you may have been giving this person money or doing something for them okay some of you someone's gonna ask you for some money you're gonna say no and they're gonna be really really upset okay they might even they may even act childish or maybe they want to live with you or something. So just be aware of that for some of you. Yeah. You've had plenty of time to think. You have enough wisdom to carry you forward, Cancer. You really do. Um, it's, it's time for you to not be unhappy emotionally, okay? You just have to invest in something. It may be scary. Um, you may not like the idea of it but it's time and you can do it 
especially with the hermit card in reverse yeah see it's time for you to stop or uh, end a cycle that you've been in or trying to win this game of whatever it is that's been happening here and nurture yourself okay and take care of yourself i'm hearing just the way this other person is taking care of themselves or doing whatever they want to do right so yeah so you seem content until all this stuff starts happening. There could be a love offer coming in from a another Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. But I feel like you're ready to explore love or real love. Ooh, this is interesting because your love energy feels very childish. Be careful about being content in a situation that's not good for you. Someone's lying or stealing from you. They may be saying the right words or moving forward with you. So physically it kind of looks like it's going well. But you need to look a little deeper into that situation, okay? Soon you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah, you're going to have to see what's going on. Because right now I feel like you're not using your best... Um, ...decision-making skills. You may be too blocked by what they're promising you in the for the future. This what you're doing is really risky. Okay? I feel like you're cutting the wrong things out of your life. And this needs to change. That's why the death card is here. That needs to change. I feel like somebody that you look up to is trying to give you some good advice, but you're not listening. Because all you can think about is moving forward. You need to change your perspective. Yeah, definitely need to change your perspective and go through some sort of reawakening with the death card here. It's time for a transformation in this situation because you're getting distracted. This person is a, a, a big distraction. Yeah. Because it seems like you're happy, but with this four of wands in reverse, it's just not as stable as you think. Yeah, I don't feel like this person is investing as much as they can be. Not in real life. It just doesn't feel that way to me. Whatever plan that you have or lack of plan is not working here. This isn't working. It's definitely time for you to nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Find somewhere that's abundant. Get that job. I just heard get that job. I don't know why for some of you. Yeah. Yeah. Start working with the people that are trying to help you. Spirit may be also trying to let you know things. Um, or giving you signs. I feel like you take the signs that the universe are, is giving you as something negative or you're trying to stay positive. You're overindulging in your emotions or that childish it's like you need to develop your emotions a little bit more to nurture yourself there's a little bit of a lie here a little bit of mental trapping within a relationship when you look at it when you look at the underline of this whoever I'm speaking to there's some sadness about being ignored. I'm also hearing that this can go 
uh, vice versa for a cross watcher because I feel like some of you cancers are ignoring someone and it's just getting it to be too much it's going on for too long there needs to be a decision someone's not taking advice to move forward what's happening here is not really investing in the best in your best interest here it's like mentally trapped but not being happy some of you are in a relationship and you're not happy there some of you want a relationship you're not happy being single or where you are now but you're not making that effort you're not making that effort to either get in a relationship or get out of one that's definitely what I see here for you cancer so let's go into some oracle cards We're going to go with the Romance Angels first. Spirit, what do you have for Cancer for the month of October? Yeah, for some of you, I told you, someone's trying to help you. I don't know if it's a family member or someone that you look up to. Somebody's trying to get you on track here. I feel like you're really involved in something that you're in right now, whether this is being away from somebody or um, and being scared of commitment if you're away from them or being with somebody that's unhealthy, but they're promising you that they're going to be with you. It may be because children are involved. For some of you, some of you are just really trying to look at things in a loyal, kind of childlike, glamorous way. I don't feel like this is helping you. Yeah, spirit or either some family or friends that you have are trying to tell you differently. It's really time for you to see that or accept it, okay? It's definitely time to cleanse yourself. I feel like... There's either some sadness or you cry or you just so worried or you have a lot of burden on you because of this. And it's like these things are happening to tell you that you need to release them. It's going to be hard, especially when ass comes out here because it talks about speaking to your spirit guides um, and meditating, listening to those friends. Ask someone that you really, really, truly, honestly trust, okay? Yeah, angel of strength. It's going to take It's going to take some strength for you because to accept the change. Look at this. And angel of balance. This change is going to be hard, so it's going to need to take some strength with you. You can ask for spirit to be there at support or a friend or a trusted advisor to be there for you for support. But it's time for you to have balance, right? It's like you need some stability first. You need to walk into that stability, you know. Um, get a reward or a win, Cancer. And then find abundance there. But first you need to get yourself out of this toxic situation. Um, whether this is you not communicating with someone and it's just going too long, like I said before. Or you're in a relationship with someone that is quite unhealthy. Okay? So thank you so much for listening. And if you want a private reading, link's in the description box below. Also, don't forget to check out that video for viewer requests. I love you so much. Bye-bye. See you at the mid-month.